A special day for a lot of people in our community. Lent starts tomorrow and many give up sweets for the season. So today might be the last chance to scarf down something special. Brian Archer is live on 5 at a place where Clevelanders have been getting their sugar fixes for generations. The beloved punchki, a traditional Polish pastry dating back to the Middle Ages. Here in one of Cleveland's most traditional neighborhoods is a bakery that's all about tradition. Bread was our main thing going back to the early 1900s. Frank Serra has been with Presti's Italian Bakery for more than 30 years. This 100-year-old bakery does it all. We try to stick basically to the Italian, but we go into the other stuff too. Other stuff like punchkis for today. But their bread and butter, so to speak, is their Italian pastry. I'm from an Italian family, so it's always really good to get those kind of things that really feel like home. Growing up, I used to watch my grandmother do stuff. She's old Italian, did everything by hand. And by hand is how it's done. But this isn't just work. It's a labor of love. I just like creating the stuff. You know, I, when I bring a tray out, I see the customers looking at the tray, and you, you hear the oohs and ahs. And that's not even tasting it. And there's plenty to look at. It's not unusual to see people looking and looking. But eventually, like Barb Minen, most people just can't resist these Italian delicacies. It all looks delicious. The Napoleons are a favorite, though. Well, that would be French. But not as surprising as the choice of Presti's head baker. Chocolate coconut bar. With all the fancy stuff I make, that's the one thing I like the most. Polish, French, or Italian, it really doesn't matter which pastry you choose for today's Fat Tuesday celebration. It's all about tradition, a tradition at Presti's that's lasted for more than a century. Live on 5 in Cleveland, I'm Brian Archer. Ah, uh, Brian, you touch my heart. Well, the original Presti's opened in 1903. Since then, four generations of the Presti family have owned and operated the bakery and cafe.